She is a singer, songwriter, producer, manager, actress, author, and also a teacher. She will soon be celebrating her 70th career anniversary and has recently launched her new album called To Exist and Be Heard. Please welcome the unique and timeless Patsy Gallant. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Patsy Gallant. Des yeux qui font baisser les miens, un rire qui se perd sur sa bouche. Voilà le portrait sans retouche de l'homme auquel j'appartiens. Quand il me prend dans ses bras, il me parle tout bas. Je vois la vie en rose. Il me dit des mots d'amour, des mots de tous les jours, et ça me fait quelque chose. Il est entré dans mon cœur une part de bonheur dont je connais la cause. C'est lui pour moi, moi pour lui dans la vie. Il me l'a dit, me l'a juré pour la vie. Et dès que je l'aperçois, alors je sens en moi mon cœur qui bat. So you're a great manager. You manage yourself. I, apparently, I was one of the first producers who produced an album in Canada, my own album. I didn't know that. Somebody told me. Oh. And yes, this time I really did it all. So this time I'm finally going to get everything. I, I take the bad stuff with the good stuff. You know, J'assume, okay? But so far it's been good and the reaction has been really great. When you look at the top qualities of a manager, you see that be confident and develop adaptability is right there in the top 10. And in my book, they're called Patsy Galant qualities, you know? Mm. Oh, that's that sweet. You never cease uh, to amaze us by reinventing yourself, first of all. Yeah, that, that, that's very that's important. That's the secret of your success. Oh, it's, uh, you know, I don't live in the past. You know, I had hits, I sold millions of records, big deal. What are you doing today? Mm. The important thing is what you're doing today, what people are seeing today. They can always go back and listen and, and think. But can you imagine if I, started thinking, well, I used to be this, and I'm this, and now you must give me this. No. Show me what you can do now, maybe I'll pay you. You know, I don't know. It's, I'm a little bit hard on myself. But that's how I keep being creative and advancing. And, and you must, because it's so important, and it's so wonderful to learn new things. I love to learn. I'm incessantly curious. I am still, uh, uh, je, je suis... Um, uh, said, uh, I'm trying to look for the word uh, inquisitive, you know, mm -hmm. and, and it's a sign of intelligence. I, I used to think I wasn't intelligent. I want you to know that because mm -hmm. I didn't have a lot of schooling. Mm -hmm. I thought it was the same thing. Later on, I found out it has nothing to do with intelligence, mm -hmm. you know. I learned the hard way. I learned from traveling all over the world. I learned the culture. I learned how to like myself, how to get my confidence by knowing these things. You know, and they often say, better to know a lot, uh, wait a minute, let me, get, let me get it right. Better to know a little bit of everything than a lot of one thing, right? Right. Would you, would you agree with that? Absolutely. And you never missed one show. I'm one of the, I'm one of the only even. ones. It's, I don't know how I did it. And I was the oldest. And you were there for la doyenne. incroyable. Huit, huit ans, Consécutive. sept shows par semaine, huit ans consécutifs dans le même rôle. Eight, year, can, eight consecutive years in the same role, doing the same song every night, same songs. How do you keep that alive? Mm. 
How do you keep it alive? I'm an actress. So I use everything as an actress, and I put it in the song. And also, you feed off of the audience. You, you go with the audience, how they feel one night, you know, or how your day was, if it was raining today. Then I'll use that, you know, when I sing at night. I'll sing it more, you know, melancholic or, you know, it, 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 I use everything to keep it alive. Because if you get on automatic pilot, yes. and people know, they know. Mm -hmm. So I was going to say that our association is, you know, managers, executives at the school board level, we're the, we're the English Montreal School Board, you're 74 years young, uh, and your, your, your career is going strong. So what message do you have for people probably like me, because I can't foresee retiring anytime mm. in the near future. I'm 59, but I don't see myself retiring. What is your message to people who love what they do and should keep on going and not feel they should retire? Well, first of all, you, you said it yourself, you have the passion. You can't see yourself stopping, because you love what you do. You have to love what you do. And I think the most important thing is you always have to have something to do. You always have to keep yourself busy. You have to... You, you can't just stay there and wait after people, which is what I did with my album. And, um, you know, no matter what, you, even if it's like helping other people, it, you got to keep busy. you got to have a project. You, you have to make yourself have things to do. You know? That's a great answer. And the last two and a half years have been challenging for everybody in the world oh, because goodness. of the pandemic. We as a school board have been challenged, but we've also had opportunities with virtual, uh, virtual meetings and so on and so forth. Our schools have kept going. They've, they've been thriving. So how did you handle the pandemic? Well, I want, before I tell you how I handled mine, I want to talk about the pandemic with the schools and the children especially. How difficult it is for children to go on Zooms and learn that way because their development is, is, they have to be in a class. They have to have their friends. They have to have this social thing. So it must have been very difficult for them. But there's also a positive thing. They learned something new. They can eventually use it, but it did last a long time. And I think it affected some of the children that are in school today. You, you can't learn that. One-on-one, -on -one, talking, it's like, when you talk on the phone, you have these machines. It, it's terrible. You have, still today, I like to write. I still like to write. You have to have something one-on-one -on -one as a human being. You learn much better. You see the face. You see the expressions. And it's so important for learning and for children. So I hope this is never going to get back to where it was. But I try to look at the positive thing about it is that they learn something new. Because they were, they were forced to, even adults did. Mm -hmm. Like people working in their homes, they had to do it. Listen, I had to do Zooms. You had to see the television show that I did when I did my first Zoom. Mm -hmm. They laughed so much that they put it on the, uh, the Oscars. <laughs> I mean, uh, they, 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 I was, the police called while I was trying to do the Zoom. I had a new phone and I was trying to click the number in. And then they said, police? I said, oh, no, no, <laughs> sorry. I'm doing a show. I, I didn't want to call you. Well, hang up. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't find the thing. Oh, it was just horrible. <laughs> and it, anyway, they laughed so much that they, they said, we're sorry it took too long. We'll call you back. I said, I've been preparing for a week. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. <laughs> anyway, it was so funny that they put it on. But I learned. I know how now, and, and it's better if you have somebody, it's always better. Mm -hmm. But it, it's been very difficult. And to, mm -hmm. and to answer your question, how did I handle the pandemic? Well, I got myself something to do. I wrote my book. 70 years as an entertainer. Wow. I want to go back to the mid-70s, if you don't mind, because I love that decade. I know you love it, too. And from New York to L.A., would you say that this, that song that launched your international career in the 70s? Yes, or, yes, yes, of course, of course. Yes, I know it's, uh, it went to the top of the charts in South Africa, in Japan, Germany, Australia, Europe, you even... Sweden. Sweden, Top of the Pops. Did you sing at Top of the Pops? Yes, I did. You did? Top of the Pops with the Beatles sang. Top of the Pops. Yeah. And you inspired another great Canadian artist, Jan Arden. What I would not do to have Patsy Gallant 
come and be in season four when the COVID restrictions are lifted, when we're traveling a little bit more freely. Yes, Patsy, season four, we're coming for you, please. And it, the scene, you could be like in a restaurant, I recognize you and I freak the hell out and I ruin your entire lunch. <laughs> Super sanding you. You don't even have to learn a lot of lines, Patsy, I swear. Mind you, you could act circles around anybody, so. Oh my goodness, I just spoke to her. You just spoke she to her? She is a true fan. She is a true fan. And you fan. know, when she became famous, I was in Paris for 11 years, so I, I had no idea who she was wow. until the person who works with me, oh, well, this girl is international. And she's, I finally saw her sing and act. She's wonderful. Yeah. So you never met her, but she I never met her. And I she hasn't invited you to be on her TV show? Well, she, yes. she couldn't because it was already over, because it's lately, and I was supposed to go and see her show just lately, but unfortunately, I had a show in Florida, so okay. couldn't see her. That could but we'll, be arranged. No, no, we're going to, we're, we yes. have to meet. She's wonderful. And I, I just want to mention, because in the early 2000s, you were a teacher, a professor, at, and a coach at Star Academy in France. In France. In and Paris, did yeah. you enjoy teaching? I, I, I enjoyed it very much, but it's very difficult because the French singers want to sing English, and they can't speak a word of English. You see, that's where they should have learned, learned English a second language, they don't understand, they, they, they do it phonetically. And one girl wanted to do a Beyonce. Mm. And I said, well, that's a mouthful. So uh, I got her to do the phrasing, but we never understood a word. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> it was just funny. So, it was I mean, challenging. We, we need teachers at EMSB. We never know. Would you be interested? Sure, maybe? sure. I, I, I was going to say the same thing. Yeah. That, you know... I do master classes. I, I would say that, that keep us in mind. We definitely will uh, we'll look you up for our it's teacher so much recruitment fun. in the fall. You know the first master class I did? I walked in and I did not prepare anything. But what I did ask is for the, ch the, the students to prepare things. And then I took them one by one on stage. Wonderful. Listened to them. And yeah. then I told them what they could do, what they should do, how they're doing it why they shouldn't do that. And it just became natural. And at the end of the day, I'd done four hours and I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So anytime you're ready, I love it. All right, it's a deal. Deal. Mine. And before you leave Patsy, speaking of teaching, uh, I wanna introduce you, Michael. Please Mike, get, Michael, thank you. Get oh yes, the, I'm gonna stand the gift. up. We have a special gonna... treat for you. Uh, no, come on, you already gave me flowers. It's beautiful. Well, it is with great pleasure that AQCS oh EMSB section God. wishes to recognize you as one of Canada's icons of entertainment wow. as you approach your 70th career anniversary. That is, be I feel I went to school. Well. Yes, and yeah. in recognition. And I've always wanted to go to university, and here I get all so this. So you are an honorary member of our association, and we hope from this visit that you had with the English Montreal School Board sector that in the future you can meet the association at large, which has members across the province. Well, I would love to, and it was an honor for me also. And anytime you need me here, Bring on the kids. I'm there for them. You got it. That's okay? a deal. So these are for your autographs because you're oh. going to sign so many oh, more. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, it's so beautiful. The wood is beautiful. Yeah, this is to remind you of the room. I know. Yeah. It's so gorgeous, this place. And we like, want to oh, yeah. thank you again. Like the old days. It's yes. beautiful. And you are welcome back anytime as an oh, honorary it's beautiful. member. beautiful. You come in anytime. Thank you so much, thank both you, of you, Nathalie and Michael. Perfect. It was a, it was a great honor. Thank, thank you, you very you. much. Thank you, Patsy. I can't get much higher uh -huh. I think you need a girl just like me Uh-huh I can show you secret places Take me away from this world of hate Can't get enough of you Life is too short, let's live day to day Saddle me up and let's play, saddle me up and let's play 